Afternoon, everybody. Should be live, I think. Oh, you guys see me walking. Do you guys see that walking? I don't know. Either way, I was looking uh, looking around my office for a switch. Right now, my office is a disaster. Um, there's so much. Ooh, I almost knocked over a coffee. There's just so many boxes everywhere right now. I need to get some of these projects taken care of and uh, over. Marcus, how's it going? I got to connect with you about those VLANs. Sorry about that. Um... From Germany, how's it going? Good evening. So it's Friday, that's great. I mean, I got lots of work over the weekend. This week has been pretty crazy and uh, very busy, which is a good thing. Um, next week's gonna be even busier. Um, I, I always try to schedule around these live streams so that I could do it. And I'm hoping my next Sunday live stream I could do. Um, I think I have a job though, but we'll figure it out. Good evening from Norway. How's it going? Must be late your time. It is only 1 p.m. EST in the day here. It's pretty warm outside. Um, and like always, this uh, this office is warm. Bruce, I got to get you back to your email as well. How's it going? Yeah, so we've uh, I just set up this right here. Um, actually there's, there's more to this job. It's five nano HDs, forget how many cameras, five bullets or six bullets, maybe one, two, six bullets and a G4 pro. So that's going to be interesting. Um, pretty much configured it, got it all adopted. So yeah, it's good to go. Now it's just install time. Luckily for this job, all the cables were already run. So we don't need to do any of that. James, how's it going? Iceman, how's it going? Virginia. Yeah, so I had all this running in my office and holy moly, was it ever boiling. And then I had another uh, two 24 port switches. So I had two UDM pros running in here. You guys probably can't see that much, but let's see. Right here, there's the stack of cameras. Here's a bit of a stack of uh, that picture right there. There's more access points back there. And then I, the, what you can't see, and I'm not going to show you guys, is over here. Just boxes everywhere. Do, do, do. Zappy zap zappy zap zap hi from Canada how's it going where are you in Canada I'm uh I'm near Newmarket you have to join uh join us on a zoom call with conjoling tech oh when are you guys doing a zoom call from Ireland how's it going Adrian Michael how's it going Yeah, I've had a good week. It's been very busy, um, which is good. It's been busy. What temps are you getting from the aggregation switch? Oh, that's one thing I didn't do. I forgot to sign into my UDM. Give me a sec. I always forget to do that before I stream. Let me bring up the chat while I sign in. And I gotta do this. Sorry if you guys could hear my keystrokes. Okay, perfect. Give me two seconds. I don't think it runs that hot, but then again, it is in a cold cellar. Oops. Uh, Kevin from South Africa, how's it going? Oh, you're north of Quebec. Oh, nice. Yeah, I've never been to Quebec. Maybe this summer. We'll see. Hi from France. How's it going? Awesome videos, GTA in the house. Oh, wicked GTA! Yeah, we're not uh, we're not far from each other. I was in uh, I think it was in Toronto. Yes, yesterday or the day before. <laughs> he does some after every live stream on Thursdays. Oh, I didn't know that. I missed his live stream uh, last night. I was going to. Uh, I think I, I rewatched a bit of it today. Sorry, good week, not all day. Yeah, I figured that's what you meant. So let's look at the U or the Unify Egg switch. Ah, uh, it doesn't have a temperature sensor, so I can't I can't tell you there. Yeah, there's no sensor in it. That sucks. I didn't I didn't realize they didn't do that. No temp sensor. Uh, in the I mean, for the price point of that switch though, you can't really complain about it. I guess. I think the how much is that switch? I think it's uh, two ninety nine U S or something like that. 
where are we? 349 Canadian. But um, maybe we could kind of base it off my pro switch. Where the heck is it here? So my pro switch is sitting at 36 degrees Celsius, um, which isn't which isn't too bad. I don't think anyway. I mean, the cold cellar probably is fairly cold. Maybe I should put a thermometer in there. Um, how's it going, Brian? This I need to take out because I'm not using it now after I did that video this morning. So we'll forget that. Yeah, so that switch, this little switch, the 8-port switch, it's awesome. I mean, the mounting of it is super easy. I don't know if anybody's had the chance to play with this yet, the... Uh, 8 port light but it's wicked compared to this one right here compared to their old 60 watt where is it or even the 150 these things were such a pain to mount oh it doesn't show the bottom but they just had those little hooks right that you had to screw in two screws and then hope that you were getting it on uh, properly Okay, where were we? I'm able to RDP but not ping even in inner VLAN setting allow it any clue. Um, what are you talking about? Uh, like, what are you using? I want a Gen 2 24 switch bad. Just not sure if I want to spring for the Pro or... Uh, the Pro version's nice just because it has the 10 gig uplinks. Um, and then it has layer 3 switching. Um, which doesn't really matter. It's still an alpha. What's going on, David? Tried buying the G3 instant camera from Unify. They only allow one per person. Yes, and it's still not even available in Canada. Let's take a look. I don't think it is. Nope. Somebody asked me about the heat on the 8 port, and I'm not too sure. I didn't have it running that long, but uh, maybe I'll do it, a test for it overnight. That's a good question. Does the Unify 8 Lite support SNMP? I would assume so, but I'm not too sure. I didn't look at that. Um, may, I'll, I'll take a look at it later on. The 60 watt get hot as well. Yes, they do. I have the old 60 watt and love it. I mean, the 60 watts are good. The racking of it. Like if you were to put it on a wall or like a backboard, it was just a nightmare. I'm running two Wi-Fi 6 lights in a G4 bullet. Nice. Uh, so, okay, you're running a UDM Pro. I'm able to get to RDP, but not ping inner VLAN settings. Allow it. Uh, most Windows, if it's a Windows computer, most of them don't allow ICMP traffic. Uh, does the DAC cable in the UDM Pro click when... Mine seems loose. Um... I mean, it should. It should make a little click. It's not as loud as a click as when you would put an Ethernet cable in, though. I have three G3 instants, made a second account, and somehow they uh, let me out. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I mean, the G3, uh, it's really good. I haven't... It's, I still don't have it uh, hooked back up again, the instant. Let's go to my NVR. Actually, let me just sign in over here. All right. There's a couple cameras I actually haven't hooked back up. Um, one for my garage. This G3 Instant, I didn't hook back up. It's sitting... I honestly don't even know where it is. I think it's on my bookcase right now. I don't know where I'm going to put it. That's the problem. Maybe in my garage. I have a G3 Flex though for that as well. Good trick for dealing with mount hole alignment. I have no idea. I just kind of, you know, measure it out and make sure it's level. Uh, I didn't get a chance to check the flow control yet. No, but I will. Um, I'm going to be doing some um, consulting on a job that's going to be using quite a few aggregation switches. Just got a G3 instant the other way. Yeah, I know. It's a great camera for $29 US, right? Um, 
if you're having it indoor or I, I don't even honestly I don't know where else you would put it the only thing I would use it for is to watch my cat probably I was thinking about using it for this rack to watch the rack and yes I got to clean up the cabling there but I ended up putting my g3 um, I have no idea what this cable is right there I'm still waiting for extra DAC cables from Unify. I ordered them like two weeks ago and they're not here. Oh, the link to, yeah, links may not go through. Let me just see live chat. Oh, there we go. Oh, check out the painter hold tape alignment. Okay, cool. I'll take that. I'll take a look at that. Replace my Yuffie in a heartbeat. Awesome. How to create a... I have videos on that, Deepak. I believe. Let's go to my YouTube. Oopsies. What are you... You want a hotspot? I don't know what I named it, though. Uh, let's go to my studio. Hotspot, maybe? What would I call it? Captive portal, probably. Voucher system. I mean, just type in captive portal on under my videos and you'll find something. I'm, I probably won't do an updated one of those for quite a while. Lewis, good morning. I use my in, uh, instant for tr uh, short term things like construction. Oh, yeah. In my uh, in my basement or baby cam until. OK, yeah, that's a good idea, Andrew. Mounting, make a cardboard template. Yep, that's not bad. Where can you view the temp of the UDM? Let's see if it has a temperature sensor in it. Does it not? Mac model version, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if it does unless we look. Hold on, I could bring this over here. Oh, here it is. See, well, it shows the CPU temp, right? Under settings. So it's at 22.8 right now, which isn't bad. You can SSA, okay, and do sensors. Yes, you could do that as well. I have three G3 instants, one facing main door, one in the basement, and the third facing out the window. Surprisingly, the window one works quite well. Yeah, I never thought about doing that, facing it um, towards windows, like uh, my back door. Any disadvantages of placing in the switch vertically? Um, if it has fans, possibly, I mean, I wouldn't do it. I, I would put it in the way that it's supposed to go, Bruce, like this. Possibly fans though, and a lot of this, a lot of the unified gear doesn't have fans anyway. And you know, airflow as well. These the switches are meant to, you know, go like how my rack is. Where would that go? Like this, right? That's how it's supposed to go. Are you just looking to conserve space? Just make a new account with the, yeah, the, I mean, the, it is kind of crazy that they're limiting to one person, but you could create multiple accounts and then, you know, get around that. Has anyone successfully logged into their instant from going to the direct IP? Doesn't seem to take my device password. Hmm. I'll have to try that. I mean, there is a, the settings in the uh, NVR. Are you talking about this device password right here? I don't know if the, I think the username would still be UBNT or it could be root. And then it would be this device password. We got 59 people here and six lights, likes. Let's hit the like button. It definitely helps with the uh, YouTube algorithm. So we already talked about this switch. I think, yeah, so I think this is going to be good for small business that only need like eight ports um, and, you know, some Wi-Fi and home installs. I think it'll be awesome. The other thing talk about, I just bought this vertical cable. It's called an eye punch tool. 
instead of, uh, I don't know if I have another one here. Actually, let's just bring it up on Amazon. 110 punch down tool. So this is what you would tip, well, let's, let me move over. That's what you typically would use, like terminating Cat6 or Cat7 or whatever uh, cables would be a 110 punch tool, but this vertical cable one, it actually, you put all the pins in the jack and then you just crimp it instead of punching down each eight conductors. So it'll save a lot of time. And I'm planning on doing a video on, uh, you know, some cabling stuff, I think next week. Let's see. I got an instant in the EA store. Um, then, oh, okay. That makes sense. Do you notice much movement um, with the flex cameras during high winds? Not really. I mean, it depends on how you have it, how you have it mounted. If you have your cameras mounted onto your soffit and you don't have like a, uh, a piece of wood or something on top of the soffit, it's going to, it's definitely going to move, especially with like more, um, heavier cameras, like your G4s, G4 pros, stuff like that. Actually, devices with fans do better in odd mounting configurations, uh, convention cooled without fans. It, honestly, it depends on, there's so many different factors. It depends, one, if you have cooling at all. Um, it depends on the rack space that you're using. And, I mean, there's different designs, right? Yep, that password tried UBNT and my cloud. I haven't, I haven't tried it yet, but maybe I'll, maybe I'll give it a try. Corny, how's it going? Review U-Fiber OLT. Hmm. I, uh, maybe, I mean, I don't even know what that is. I think I've seen it before. Do we have it here? Where would that be under? Wired products. I don't even know if it's available in Canada. I think I've seen it before somewhere. I just don't, I probably wouldn't have a use case for it, to be honest with you. Let me just search it. Is this what you're talking about here? U-Fiber OLT terminal for the G-Pon? I mean, I, I definitely don't have a use case for that. So I probably won't end up buying it. Do you need their own custom keystones? Yes, you do. Um, and there's these ones right here. Let me take a look. But honestly, vertical cable makes great stuff, so I don't mind using their keystones. Um, right now, I only have white keystones. But, I mean, they're pretty rock solid. I'm probably going to switch everything out to vertical cable from now on. Can you put that vertical punch down tool in the description or chat? So I don't know where you, you could buy it or if you can buy it here. Let's just see. Cable eye punch tool. No. I bought it through a distributor. Their pr vertical cable is pretty big in the United States. Uh, cable. Let's just see, eye punch. Oops. Okay, so that's their jacks. Don't care about that. Telecom, where the heck would it be? Tools probably, punch tools or compression tools? Cause it is a compression crimping tool. Nope. Where the heck was, oh, tools down here. Oh, here it is right here. Perfect. I just don't know where you would buy it from. Um, I could get them from distributors in Canada, but that's about it. There, I mean, there must be places you could get it. Vertical Cable says it only works on their keystones, but other have found that it works with... Yeah, yeah. If you watch uh, Follow... Um, I, for, I forget his name. 
All Green Lights Incorporated on, I tried finding him last night or last time on here. Let me just uh, search him up. He does a video on it. Let me just see. So we could find him on Instagram this time. It's All Green Lights, All Green Lights LLC. Which one though? There's somebody who's trying to rip off his, oh, here it is right here. Here's his account here. So if you guys, uh, he's really good. Like he does a lot of structured cabling stuff. I think he has some video. Well, here's the tool right here, right? He shows it working. I think he has some videos in his uh, Instagram reel. Let me put his channel or his Instagram right there. Yeah, so I think he's found I think he's found some different different cables that would work with it. Oops. I don't want to go to my personal one. Let's go to Mac Telecom Networks. Fluke makes something similar. Okay, let's take a look at Fluke. Um yeah, Fluke is just fairly expensive gear. I mean, it doesn't matter what you what you buy from them. Oh yeah, I've seen that. I saw that tool the other day, actually. It just, honestly, it looks a little cheaper, like cheaper made. It's it's more expensive, um, but it looks cheaper made. It looks like it's plastic. I think this punch tool is, I don't know where they put it. I think it's pretty much all metal with a, with a rubber gripping. Steven, how's it going? Uh, Keystone is just an expensive, uh, is just way too expensive. So I'm just using a normal patch panel. Yeah. I mean, it, it really depends. The patch panels that have the 110 punch downs that you can find them for, for cheaper. Um, I prefer using Keystones on both ends, but yeah, so it's all metal, right? Whoops. Then it has this like pretty nice rubber grip. I haven't even used it. I haven't terminated anything with it yet, but yeah, it's pretty cool with the spring loaded. I don't know if you guys will be able to see the blades on the inside there. But I'll do a video on this and, you know, more uh, cabling tools next week. I think the jacks, I think the jacks were fairly cheap. They were only like three bucks each. I'm not sure what, I mean, I don't have a whole lot to talk about today. Um, what videos did I do this week? I think I did a few. So we did the U6 LR versus the Nano. I mean, the results, I, I gotta find a better way to test. The problem is I only have my iPhone 6, or 6, not 6. I only have my iPhone with Wi-Fi 6, and then this PC. The problem with this PC is it's a PC. I can't move it out of my office. And most of the, the access points are sitting in my office. So I've been thinking about maybe getting a desktop for downstairs and putting a Wi-Fi 6 card in it just so I could do more Wi-Fi 6 testing. Um, and then we did the TP-Link EAP HD. Uh, that thing is a beast. Like look at the size of that compared to my head. It's huge. Like that is absolutely massive. Uh, what do I have? Do I have an HD? Oh, here we go. Still haven't put this up yet. But here's the AC Pro beside it. Like look how thin, thin the AC Pro is. Look how thick that is. Imagine having that on your ceiling. I don't know. I mean, I think your drop ceiling would fall down. It's pretty insane. Uh, you certainly become more flexible with modular jacks. Yeah, I always buy the unloaded patch panels now. Um, pretty much for everything, unless the customer specifies that they want, uh, you know, a, uh, I don't even know what you, a loaded patch panel. Is that punch down tool for straight through RJ4? No, that's not, it's for keystone jacks, right? So it's for these, Oops. it's for keystones, right? So you could turn, oh my, I think I turned off, uh, whatever. So you could terminate it in A or B. It depends where you live in the world. And then, yeah, it will terminate for these. I'll show you guys how to do it when I figure it out. Cause I haven't terminated one yet. 
I don't think it's going to be that, that difficult though. I do have a crimping tool for the pass-throughs as well. The easy crimp or whatever it's called. The Last Dragon, how's it going? What makeup tool is that? That's the vertical cable um, eye punch tool. Get a laptop so you could roam. I do have an MSI laptop, I believe it is. Um, I just need to get a Wi-Fi 6 card in it. Just watch your video on the WAN failover. Can you combine two? No, you can't. No, it's only it's only failover. So the load balance, they don't even have that in here anymore. I don't think unless they... Let me just bring this to the other screen. I don't want to show my WAN IP. I think I'm in double NAT anyway. I am. So... Where the heck is my second WAN? Oh, you know what? I don't I don't even think it will detect it, but I'm pretty sure you only have failover as the only option. It would be nice if you could combine it. Uh with PF Sense you can. Yeah, that, that access point is massive. I'm probably gonna end up doing a test between um unif like all of uh, all the Wi Fi six access points that I'm getting in the future. Get a laptop for testing, have one. I just need to, I know Chris from Crosstalk just did the, uh, oh no, that, that wasn't Wi-Fi 6 adapter. I just need to find a Wi-Fi 6 adapter for laptops. That's it. I wish I would have went with Wi-Fi 6 long range instead of the lights. The problem with that right now is being able to get them, right? Um, I've been having a ridiculously hard time getting access points or anything for clients. Um, in the Canadian store, everything besides this was sold out for like two weeks. The in-wall HDs just became available and I just bought five of them. Um, and the beacons, I mean, whatever. You can't even do a wireless uplink unless you have another access point. Where the heck are we? Maybe open that huge AP up and see why it's so big. I Maybe I could do that. Um, I did buy that one. TP Link didn't give that one for free to me. Actually, they haven't given me anything for free. Um, I think I said in my one video that they did, but they actually didn't. I ended up having to pay for it. Cameron, how's it going? Just ordered a couple U6 lights. Yeah, the U6 lights are, are great as well. I still haven't hooked up uh, my, my one that I did the video on. When do you think they'll have the in-wall? I have no idea. Um... Maybe a month. I'm, I have no clue though. Hopefully sooner. What I'm waiting for is like the flex like that, right? See, like everything sold out besides these, this G3 right here. So yeah, I'm going to start, I'm going to start, um, holding stock for my clients. It's the only way to do things, I guess. Do you know if the new Unify aggregation switch does, are you talking about the one that's already out? It doesn't, it only does one in 10 gig. So if we look at the profile link, you could only do 10 or one gig, which is unfortunate. I was hoping that we could do, you know, one gig, 2.5, five gig and 10, but no, it only allows you to do the two. I've tried to get, uh, I've tried to get TP to send some for test kits, but no luck. Yeah, I mean, it, one, it depends where you live in the world. Two, it's going to be if you're a content creator or something like that, that would maybe make the money. Um, I, yeah, I still had to pay for my gear. Um, and the stuff that I wouldn't pay for, I would have to, I have to send back to them. Like the deco stuff. When did I do that? Deco? I think that's, yeah, so this stuff right here, like the mesh stuff, I'm going to be sending back. What about using a distributor? Um, I have, and but they couldn't. So I have a client that I need to get a couple in-wall HDs for, and they were backordered as well. If I go through one other distributor that had them, they're almost charging a hundred bucks more per access point. And I recorded the job off the prices on Unify.
<clears throat> uh, Ryan, I did. I haven't looked at it though. And we can't. Yeah, I, I can't really say too much about EA products. What would you recommend for 2.5? I mean, I'm not too sure because I don't have anything that's 2.5. Unified does sell a switch though. It's the XG switch that does it. Where is it? Wait a minute. It's because I'm in Canada. It's in the US. It's this XG switch down here. So that gives you your 1, 2.5, 5, and 10. But then again, you're paying 600 bucks. I'm pretty sure, what's that other, what's that other brand? Not Synology, QNAP. QNAP, 2.5 gig switch. I think they have a 2.5 gig. But then again, I can't recommend it to you because I've never used it before. Um, I'm, I'm planning on buying something though. Uh, are the deco any good? Yeah, the decos were great. If if you can't physically wire and you need a mesh system, I mean, yeah, they worked well. Uh, do you have an LLC so you can save on the hardware? So it's a little different in Canada. Um, I'm not even, I don't even know what an LLC is really. I see a lot of people on like Instagram and stuff uh, like that with the LLC. I think it's just a business thing. Um, I obviously, yeah, I do have a business and I do save on the hardware for HST, our taxes and stuff like that. It missed the video. Yeah, the de the deco stuff was great. I, well, it was it was good for mesh, right? Um, I still probably would do um, Unify mesh, but then again, I love Unify stuff. Mattis, how's it going? Don't Microtech have some stuff? I'm not too sure because... Um, yeah, I don't know. Can I allow you to post links, Marcus? Oops, I don't want to time you out. Crap. Hmm. I don't think it allows. I'm not too sure. Microtech, they, their website, they have so much stuff on it. I barely even look through it. And I still have the Microtech gear that I haven't even touched yet. What else are we getting? So I am getting another Wi-Fi 6 access point. Um, this time, Ingenious is sending it to me. And I'm pretty sure Chris from Crosstalk did a video on this a couple weeks ago. But either way, they're sending me this, what, what's the model? ECW230, so that's going to be pretty cool. It's a 4x4 indoor access point. We'll see how well it works. And then they're sending me this Layer 2 switch. So right now I did a video on, I think it was the Sky Key, was it Sky Key? So it was the Ingenious Sky Key with their EAP 1250, which are 1250, I think that was just a Wi-Fi 5 access point. Um, and they don't have any routers or anything like that, but now with the switch, it will kind of give me a full stack um, for their gear. I hate, okay, sorry, last one was AC, this AX uh, Wi-Fi 6. Oh, you posted a, a video, oh, hold on a sec. So that's an adapter. I know controlling tech, he was saying something, one was coming out. And I mean, that would be great if I could, uh, if I could get an adapter for Wi-Fi 6. What version of Deco as they now have an X? Uh, what was it? Deco, Deco, Deco. Whoops, that's not it. It was the X60, I guess. Yeah, the X60. It was pretty, pretty decent. I still have it here, actually. Um, it's sitting somewhere on my floor. Yeah, Chris did the comparison. I did watch him uh, watch it. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with the video, but we'll see. <clears throat> I've seen a four port fiber switch. The problem with the fiber stuff, um, you don't have any PoE, right? Excuse me. Yeah, Chris from Crosstalk, he did, he did a video about uh, the ingenious stuff not long ago. 
Let's see, what else is on the board? Has there been any Unify releases? I have this really, let's go to the community. Whoops, I just don't wanna show beta stuff. So there was the Unify Access Controller, which fixed the, um, I was having issues with upgrading my Unify Access Hub, and this one fixed that issue. I don't know if we can look at that. Where did my controller go? Crap, I think I closed my Unify controller. But anyway, now I could put a pin pad on my Unify Pro Reader, which is kind of cool. I mean, it's not the best update in the world, but it's decent. Philip, how's it going? For the UAP AC Pro, can you use the included mount to install a standard home ceiling? Or do I need to go with the Pro mount? Uh, standard home ceiling. I'm not too sure what you mean by that, Cameron. X90 has the extra 5 gigahertz, okay. Just in the process of upgrading my home network to Unify, ordered a UDM. Can I set up dual WAN on the device? You only can have the uh, dual WAN set up for failover, that's it. I did already do that. So you can change the setting that in the chat that stopped the link from being seen as spam. That says live chat right here. I have that going on right now. I mean, I don't mind people posting links, but I, I just don't know. Obviously, YouTube's not, not allowing it. PoE, yeah, obviously. Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not conductive. That's right. Like a drywall ceiling. I, you don't need the pro mount for anything, right? Well, I mean, not for anything. Let's just see. The mount for the, what was it? The LR came with the Pro mount, I'm pretty sure. The Pro mount just makes everything easier, but it, then again, it's nine bucks. And then they have these clips, which would be for drop ceiling. I don't remember what the, Pro, like the APAC Pro, what mount it comes with. No clue. Oh, it's pretty big, I think. You don't need the metal bracket to do the APAC Pro. They are working on PoE over fiber. Oh, that would be neat if they could figure it out. Let's see what else. Yeah, so the Ingenious stuff, I mean, it worked fairly well. I mean, it worked. It was a little slow with the, uh, the Sky Key. So we'll see what, ev what other um, testing I could do. I have a couple jobs this week that we're going to be doing. It'd be nice if I could film them. One is like a point to multi-point job. The land isn't that big. It's a couple buildings connecting together. Um, we'll see. If they allow me to do that, that would be great. The other one I'm doing at a home. It's going to be installing the rack. Uh, all this gear beside me. If I could do a video on the terminations and stuff, I'll do that as well. Oh, there we go. Uh, so you just, uh, mentioned that I'd like to watch a video of your on-site installing. The problem is getting the customer to agree and it takes longer to finish the job. Um, right now I just have a GoPro for when I'm doing footage outdoor, like outside of this office. And it's not the best solution. If I had somebody else there with me, it would be probably easier if they were filming me. I have done like a, have I done, I don't know if I've done install videos. I think I have a few. I mean, I've done so many videos, I can't remember. I don't, I don't know if I put it. There was a video that I did. It was like a Cat 6A job, but I don't remember if I videotaped it or not. Or if I just put it on Instagram, which is quite possible. There, where the heck is it? Oh, this is something that, well, this, this really isn't a video. This is me just laying cable, laying cable on the ground. This is a private video. 
Whoops, let's turn the speakers off. This, I don't, this was a while ago. Whoops, you guys don't need to stare at my behind. Typically, I don't, I don't lay wire like that, um, but there was no J hooks. There was no drop ceiling. There was nothing. Uh, this, I don't even remember what that cabling was. And these guys, they wanted, uh, they wanted their rack on top of the ceiling, like above the uh, drop ceiling, which you shouldn't do. And I recommend it against it, but they never, uh, they wanted it. So we gave them what they wanted. This is, you can't even really see me terminating. These are the patch panels that I don't like anymore. I also hate these mounting brackets. I will never use them again, or the racks. Where are we now? The AP Pro comes with the ETH Pro mount. It does? Hmm, I didn't think it did. The metal bracket for the ceiling panels, all bull, all bull. Um, I'm behind in the stream, but they are ethernet pass-through plugs. Well, they do have ethernet pass-through, right? For for the pro switches. Um, get the Unify rack, maybe. Uh, I don't know. I don't really like racks that sit on the ground. It's in early access right now. Yours was really cool. Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I remember that. That was a cool rack that you built. Agree, but the customer is always right. Yes, the customer is always right. They didn't want to see the rack. I think in this install, I think, uh, I don't even remember. It was a USG and uh, maybe a 24 port switch and two pro access points. But yeah, this is private. I don't remember why I put it on private either. I just bought one of these Ubiquiti Unify AC in-wall pros. The AC in-wall. I thought those were becoming end of life. Let me just see. These ones right here. The UAP AC in-wall. I've never used these ones. I buy these ones right here. The in-wall HDs. Do you know if you could do Xbox game streaming over, you should be able to if you allow the traffic, yeah. I mean, I could test it out. I do, uh, or no, I can't test it out. I don't have an Xbox anymore. I just use my computer for most of my gaming and then I have a PS5. I use a wall mount rack that come with a bracket to hook up with a bolt. There's so many different racks out there, right? The one that I show in this video the problem with these, it's like a U and it has no support in the middle. So um, if you put too much weight, it's going to bend and move. I, I just hate them. I can't stand them. What's bad about, well, I just said that. So it, it's just, they can't hold a lot of weight, right? So what I go with now is something like this. Uh, you guys can't really see it. Hmm, how can I show you? How can I show you? Uh, let's go to this distributor. Relco safe cam. It's just more of a metal sturdy frame, right? That's what you need, especially if you're going to be putting weight in them. Okay, something like this. I think that's the one I have. So the metal, the metal there is just, oh, you guys can't really see that. My head's in the way. The metal is just a lot stronger. If you're doing the U, it's just flimsy and it will move back and forth when you put a switch in. Um, and you don't want that stuff to fall from your rack. I could add my pictures to Cody's server. Uh, which server? I don't have a server. Like Discord? Uh, I ended up making a uh, lack rack. 
with okay cool that's cool i mean custom racks are wicked too um i need something bigger than this this is way too small now um i need i need to get all of my lab gear out of the office and down into the basement because it is it's just too hot in this room maybe something like this probably not going with these guys anymore though actually i don't e i want it all open so i have better airflow i don't really like the glass either but we'll see useful wall cabinets who i'm trying to think of oh that's who it was infinite cables cables cable management i just started i picked up my first um order from these guys last week so they had a little 8u rack where the heck was it this is the one i picked up it's pretty pretty nice it works i'm thinking about either getting this 19 inch or sorry 15u or the 30u which i may just do the 30u if it fits in my cold cellar that way i could just you know load it up with stuff but if i ever get a server that's deeper than 19 inches i'm gonna have to figure something else out get a 42u frame yeah that's possible 42 may be a little big though right i don't know if i have that much gear but i mean <clears throat> it's always better to have more for expansion in the future what discord link in the description is an invalid uh is it let's just see you mean for this live stream it's invalid i'm terrible with discord i don't know how to use it that well just give me a sec Does that not let you into it? I have it on, <clears throat> excuse me. I have it on some of my videos, but it, it may be the same. Uh, it might be the same one. So let's go to an older video. Let's go to this one. Discord. Whoops. What the heck? So that's, is that different than what I got here? No, it's the same one. Here we go. That's the link. Hopefully that one works. You tried to join as well. Hmm. I mean, where is Discord on here? I literally don't even know how to send you guys the link. Other than what I have right now. settings hmm links fine for me okay so the next what am i doing next week for videos so we'll be doing the cable video it's just going to be showing this new vertical cables tool um what else did other people want to see let's go Okay, so 18% of people didn't want to see this video, but we're doing it anyway, because 82% of people did. Uh, there was a few people who wanted to see a couple things here. The easy crimp tool, which I'm going to be doing, so it will be the feed through, um, the pass through. Um, he, uh, Landon wanted to see what cable I use, which is fine. And then like some fish, fishing tools. Um, I do have a couple different fishing tools that I could show in the video. Works now, strange. I, I think I did in earlier videos, I did have a wrong link in there. I use the Samsung SR, let's take a look at that. Keep in your room, doesn't that get loud? Okay, that's not bad. Is that it? 
Okay, that's not bad. I just, I, I don't know about racks with wheels on it, for me, personally. Um, I just like my stuff up off the ground. But if that's the style you guys like, I mean, that's not bad. It would be nice to be able to move around, I guess. I sometimes get issues on, uh, with PoE pass-through. So, I'll, yeah, it, it all depends on, on your crimper. Hopefully the blade's sharp enough and it's not... When you cut it, it's not covering the uh, conductor. When I'm doing outdoor cable, I never use, or outdoor installs, I never use paths through. I bought 1,000 feet a Micro Center brand Cat 7. It's easier to terminate because pairs aren't twisted um, due to the shielding. Hmm. You've run it to, okay, that's good to know. How much is that crimper? I. I got to figure out who I bought it from first and to let you know, let me log in here. Oh crap. What's my email or my password? Your cart is empty. My orders. Here we go. What? Weird. Okay. Well, just type in eye punch. I think it shows me. Yeah, it's 51 bucks. That's Canadian too. So that's not too bad for that tool. And then for their Jack's Vert. I call, oh, here we go. Hold on a sec. Is that Cat 6? $3.40 for a Jack. I mean, that's not that bad. 34 bucks for a pack of 25. That's for Cat 6. That's pretty good. If you don't plan on having a fully cl uh, closed rack, the StarTech, uh, Star yeah, I've seen the StarTech and they look pretty decent. Let's look them up. Amazon. Even that's not, that's not bad. What is the thing on the back there? Although, I wonder if that's kind of for cable management at the back. Hmm. Oh, that one has wheels. Does it... Yeah, it doesn't look like you can mount that. You know, one thing I hate too is having to put cage nuts in. The rack I have right now, it has the screw holes in it. It makes life 10 times better. Is a Star Tech. Yeah, let me look what else. I mean, I guess cage nuts aren't the end of the world. If you're going to go with a U style um, mount, do it like this, where it has this mounting between the one that I installed. They didn't support this. This will make it a lot more stable. That one's not bad, but it's an 8U. I need to get bigger than that. I like that too. Holy, 325 bucks? How deep is that? Hmm. That one looks like it's on wheels as well. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. For cable management. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. What are you using to route the cables from the top of the rack when mounted in the attic or ceiling? Um, it's kind of like... I forget what the heck they're called. All green. Is that who I... Yeah, the, here it is. It's like these pipes. I, I forget what the pipes are called. This isn't my work. This is all green lights work. Um, but that's what we use. Right? Some some sort of conduit system. And then these type patch panels unloaded. Which is really neat. And his work here is awesome too. He's not even using a cable. Oh, you guys can see that. He's not using a cable comb for that. Just using his hands. What else did I get? Oh, the nerd in me ordered something, which I don't know how many of you will. Oh, someone's at my door and I think it's here. Actually, I've been waiting for some deliveries. It's probably going to ring my door. Well, we'll see if it's been ordered. So I, I had to order this because Unify wasn't getting back to me and this just delivered. 
I need a new notepad and I really like the X files. So I ordered this, uh, this little notepad. I mean, it's pretty nerdy and I'm sure clients will think it's a little weird when I pull this out at their job. Um, but I think it's going to do me well. Disney plus just released, I guess the star channel and X files was released on there and I haven't watched the new season of it yet. So I'm starting to starting to get into that. Um, so that's my nerd stuff for the day. What else am I waiting for? This, I'm waiting for this, the light beam AC. Um, that's for that point to multi-point job. The guy, or the site only has about 30 megabits per second down. So this should do us fine. But I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to wrap up unless you guys have some more questions. I do go live on Sundays at 11 a.m. EST. Um, other than that, I don't have a whole ton to go over. Uh, we do have a Twitter if you guys want to follow me on there, Twitter, Mac Telecom N, I'll give you a post that there. I am on TikTok now, um, which is kind of, you know, it is what it is. It's just a couple TikTok videos, nothing crazy. Hey Cody, first full day with my cast off and decided to mount one of the new CT CCTV cameras. Awesome. Be careful. Don't, uh, don't end up following or following. Everybody end up following me. <clears throat> yeah, but this was the pick of the of what's beside me right now. These right here, they work real. The ubiquity patch cables work really well going into the access points because you could. Do I have one beside me? I showed this in the video, but sometimes it's hard to get the Ethernet port right in, and these ones allow you to bend the boot to go in. So you go on a bit of an angle, and it makes it super simple. Oops. What is this? Please make a... Uh, Daniel, there's really nothing to it, to be honest with you. There's the layer three features right now are nothing and they're in alpha. It just allows you to DHCP and do your VLAN routing through the switch. If everybody could hit that thumbs up button as well um, before leaving, that would be great. And I... Have you stress test the Unify patch cables? No, I haven't yet, no. Uh, maybe maybe that's something I'll do. Rip on the cables. Maybe I'll do that for my next my, my video next week. They seem pretty durable. They are the problem, which I mentioned in that one video. Um, they come in the packaging like this, right? So they look pinched at all times. And the packaging is like an anti-static bag. So in the middle, it's just pinched. I may cut one of these open. I'm pretty sure, well, it's got to be stranded cable. It wouldn't be able to bend that way. But anyway, I'm off here. Um, if you guys want to catch me live, I'll be live on Sunday at 11 a.m. Um, if not, I'll see you guys next Friday and have a great weekend.